Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. You can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we have a Patreon. You guys can hit the subscribe and just feel free. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys are doing is very much appreciated. We're very, very grateful. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. I hope you guys are doing alright and may stay blessed. So today we're going to be reacting to the world changes every Ramadan. Without wasting time, let's get into the video. The Messenger وسلم, says in the authentic hadith, when it's the first night in Ramadan, the gates of paradise will be open. The gates of the hellfire will be shut. And the shayateen, the main leader devils, will be chained and locked down. And this is not mere symbolism. This is truth. This is true. These things happen in the world of the unseen. So the world changes. In Ramadan, the world changes. Shayateen, the most influential of shayateen, the most destructive of shayateen, will be locked down. They won't be able to travel around and affect people as they used to do outside Ramadan. So they're chained. They're limited. The gates of paradise will be opened. They'll be wide open. And this has an impact on us. It has an impact on us. The dynamics of what happens in the world change. The gates of the hellfire will be locked. They will be locked. And this will have an influence on us. The scholars of Islam are agreed upon a fact. That we humans have two natures. Two dual natures. One is spiritual. That's our soul. That's our soul. That's the invisible part of who we are. And this has a life of its own. And there is the visible side of us, which is the physical side that we can see and touch. The spiritual side of us has more of an angelic nature. It yearns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the physical side of us is more like the animals. It's all about eating, drinking, reproducing, and the physical desires and the physical attachments and orientations that we have and upon death these two natures will be separated the soul will depart the body the soul is part of the world of the unseen we can't touch it we can't smell it we can't taste it we can't even hear it that's the soul but that's who we really are Haqiqatul mar'i nafsuhu, as the scholars say the reality of a human being the essence of a human being is his soul when the soul departs the body, the body turns into a corpse, turns into pieces, pieces of flesh and bones that will decompose. It has no life of its own. So the spiritual nature of us is part of the unseen. It feels things that happen in the world of the unseen. So when the gates of paradise are open, this, Im this impacts our spiritual nature. This impacts our spiritual nature. When the gates of the hellfire are locked, this impacts our spiritual nature. Some part of us, part of us feels that. The Prophet ﷺ says in the authentic hadith, which is in a sahih, مَا جَلَسَ قَوْمٌ فِي بَيْتٍ مِّن بُيُوتِ اللَّهِ يَتْلُونَ كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَيَتَدَارَسُونَهُ بَيْنَهُمْ إِلَّا نَزَلَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ السَّكِينَةِ وَحَثَّتْهُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ وَذَكَرَهُمُ اللَّهُ فِي مَنْ عِنْدَهُ Any group of people who gather together in a masjid, in one of the houses of Allah, they recite the book of Allah, the words of Allah, and they study it. 
Except that serenity, peace and tranquility will descend upon them. And the angels will rub shoulders with them. Angels will be among them, around them, rubbing shoulders with them. And Allah would mention them to the highest ranking angels. Some of the scholars as they were commenting on this hadith, they say as sakina which is tranquility and peace that descends upon them is a sign of the presence of the angels. As Imam Al-Qayyim says in, a, in more than one of his books. He says as sakina comes with the angels. This peace and tranquility and serenity that you feel sometimes when you're reciting Quran or reading Quran or listening to a lecture or attending a halaqa or praying behind an imam or doing something good. This sakina shows the angels are around. It marks the, the presence of the angels. You don't figure this out with your brain. You don't feel the angels physically. You don't touch them. You don't smell them. You can't see them and you can't hear them. So which part of you figures them out that feels this sakin and this peace and serenity and tranquility? Which part of you is the spiritual side of you? So since we feel the pre our souls feel the presence of the angels, don't you think the soul feels that the gates of paradise are open? The gates of the hellfire are locked, the shayateen are locked down? It does. And that's why most of us feel in Ramadan more eagerness to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You find more peace and more tranquility because the, the fragrance of paradise reaches your soul. It recognizes that at a subtle level that you cannot capture with your senses. So that's what happens during Ramadan. This is what happens. This is why Ramadan is a special time. These things are not a figment of imagination that, we, that we're just talking about in a, in a symbolic sense. These are realities of life. These are things that are happening. So when the first night of Ramadan, the, the dynamics of the world change and your soul resp responds to that. So this is why Ramadan is a point for us to really upgrade our Iman, upgrade our, the level of our taqwa and connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Very interesting video. I'm just um, would like to add that even on any not to take away anything from Ramadan, I always say they love what Ramadan represents and what people do during that time and period. Um, I think any other day, whenever you bow down, kneel or whatever you do when you're praying, there's things that happen in this world that we can't catch with our that we can't see with our eyes. Many, many things happen on a daily basis that we can't just capture with our eyes. So what's the meaning behind, I'm just wondering what's the meaning behind uh, the heaven in, the heavens and the hell gates opening so that angels can be around us or what? I just don't, haven't gotten, like, can someone just hit it on the nail for me and just say, the reason that this is happening is because this, this and that. Otherwise, imagine if the whole world had like a national prayer day or a month to fast or to pray and fast or it would be insane because the energy around the world would be so, so different. Otherwise, like I said, like I always say, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.